right. We're starting to get a lot of investors purchasing our cabins because they just make a lot of sense as a way to monetize your land for passive income. So I figured I'd show one of our best-selling cabins that the investors are purchasing here to use as passive income to make money from your land. What good is having all that land, right, if you can't monetize it? And this cabin here, the El Chapo Muchacho, is our best-selling cabin for, for investors. So if you are interested in making money and monetizing your land, this is the best way to go about doing it here. This cabin here is a 14 by 40, so it's 560 square feet. And it has a six foot by 40 foot covered porch of which half of it, as you just saw, is screened in. It does come with these built-in kitchen cabinets, which most of our investors love and keep. And you just let us know whatever size kitchen sink you want right here, and we'll put that in. Let us know the measurement of your stove. We'll make sure that's properly spaced out so that fits right in there. And then the measurement of your refrigerator, full-size refrigerator fits in there. We use southern yellow pine as far as the wood goes, but you can upgrade to cedar at a 25% upgrade. As you can see, the floors are already varnished, ready to go. You got a nice glass sliding door here. Let's turn around and show you the living room area. Over here, you have five standard size windows with double pane glass with the argon. And these are the easy clean windows, so you can pop them down, slide them up, easy to clean. Um, these are fully insulated cabins. The walls are four by six inches thick timber, stacked one on top of the next with that chinking in between, the perma chink, to seal it tight and make it nice and, nice and efficient when you're running your heating and air. Um, above the wood panels in the ceiling, it is insulated with fiberglass insulation. We do offer a uh, spray foam upgrade if you're interested, but most folks just go with the fiberglass. As you can see on top there, there's a set of lat there's a, a ladder here that goes up to a storage loft. So that is for storage up there, guys, for extra storage. Going down the hallway, you got your front door. And then in the hallway here, you have a, a little nook built by the Amish. Extra storage underneath, and you can put your front loading washer and dryer in here. Some people um, would rather have some more square footage put into the bathroom. So they'll have half of the square footage here put into the bathroom. The other half, they can put a stackable washer and dryer on this side. As you can see, this is where the bathroom's gonna go. You can put your standard tub, toilet, and sink in here. Some folks wanna keep the windows, some don't. It's up to you. We can also make the bathroom bigger or smaller if you would like, because you can um, customize your own floor plan. Okay, so going down the hallway, let me close the door so we can do the grand opening here. So this door goes into your private bedroom. And like I said, a lot of investors, a lot of investors like this cabin because they can quickly buy a couple of them and put them on their land. And just like that, you've created some passive income and a money making, you've monetized your land, right? Now you're making money with your land, renting these out. For Buku Bucks, there's Airbnbs, VRBOs, cabin rentals, or just weekend getaways for folks, right? So for reference, this is a queen size bed, but as you can see, if you take that little nightstand out, you can put a king size bed in here, no problem. You got a nice crank window in here and another window in here. Once again, double pane with the argon glass, allowing a lot of natural light to come in. Once again, fully insulated underneath the wood panels there. We do use metal roofs on all our cabins, 26 gauge, because we wanted a roof system to last as long as these cabins do. And then you have a mechanical room to the right here for your water heater and such. 
and a little closet here. Now, if you're going to a tankless water heater, most folks will go ahead and make this one big closet with a barn sliding door on it. We've even had people make that one big room and put a um, half bath tub, sorry, toilet and sink in there with a barn sliding door on it. That way uh, you don't have to share your bathroom with your guests, right? So the only thing that would be shared in the main bathroom is the shower. So once again, a great investment opportunity for folks looking to make some passive income with their land. You're doing cabin rentals, Airbnb. It's a great way to make money uh, with real estate, right? Everybody loves to stay in a cabin. You think Gatlinburg, Tennessee, Pigeon Forge, they've made a whole business just renting out cabins and chalets, right? And the people who own those cabins make a lot of money with Airbnb and cabin rentals. They list the cabin for rent, and more often than not, they stay booked year round. And by the way, these can be made to be four season cabins as long as you make sure you beef up your insulation if you're up north, you go with our insulation upgrade. These are four season cabins, guys. You can stay in these cabins year round, okay? A lot of people will put pellet stoves or wood burning stoves or fireplaces in here. Fireplaces, wood burning stoves and cabins are like peanut butter and jelly. They just go together. Let's go out on the porch. I can hear that it's raining out there. Nothing like the sound of some rain on a metal roof. Sounds very relaxing. We'll go out the sliding door. As you can see, the porch is screened in to keep them bugs off your back. Got a little swing here to look out on your land. Just a really neat building to purchase. A lot of investors will buy four, five, six of these things, put them on their land, and they're making buku bucks renting these things out. Like I said, Airbnb, VRBOs, and cabin rentals, we got probably 25% of my customers are investors doing just that. Or we also have a segment of my customers that will put this on a piece of raw land that they've owned, and they'll flip it for profit. They'll flip it for profit. We had a gentleman out in Vermont. He bought one of these, put it on his land, and flipped it, made a couple hundred thousand dollars profit. So lots of creative ways, guys, to make money with these cabins. Or if you're just an end user looking for a cool cabin for your family retreat or getaway, these also make a great product. These are perfect recreational cottages that you can put on your land and enjoy with your family and friends. Remember guys, we also have four new models coming to the lot. Just to timestamp this video, we're in February of 2024. Uh, by the end of this month, I'll have four new models, more modern looking cottages coming to my lot. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Follow me on uh, TikTok and YouTube so you don't miss out when we introduce those uh, four new um, cabins. Remember, we also now have the layaway program. We call it the old Kmart special, 10% down, locks in your pricing for the next 36 months, same as cash on any of these cabins. So once again, as of uh, right now, this particular cabin, the El Chapo, one bed, one bath is $69,000. So if you wanted to do the layaway, you would just go to our website, AmishBuiltCabins.com, click on the layaway tab. And so for $6,900 down, you can lock in your pricing for the next 36 months, same as cash, interest-free. You can't beat that with a 10-foot bat, especially in times of these days, high inflation, where prices are subject to change. Lock in your pricing, and uh, that way you don't have to worry about price infl influction uh, moving forward. You can lock it in, and uh, just like that, your price is locked in for the next 36 months, same as cash. So one more walk through here before I hit the camera. Like I said, guys, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe button. It sure does help us spread the news of these pretty cabins. We are AmishBuiltCabins.com. My phone number is 502-298-8946. Once again, that's 502-298-8946. If you're ready to order or you just have some questions, my name is Osi, but more commonly on social media, folks call me the Cabin Cowboy. Brrrah, country life, baby. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As you know, we wouldn't be here.